The history of rock and roll is littered with people who by design or by accident never made it to middle age. But what about the fans, the people that are left behind? I'm Dr. Jennifer Otter. I'm a world-respected authority on music and especially the cult of dead celebrity. Welcome to Dead and Famous. Right now I'm out the most famous zebra crossing in the entire world, Abbey Road. Excuse me. I know you guys, I don't want to cut in here at the crucial moment, <laughs> but can I ask you, why are you here? We've seen where Jimi Hendrix died, where um, Freddie, Mercury. Freddie Mercury died. My mom was a big fan of Ringo Starr when she was young. Star. <laughs> yes. He's the hot one, don't let anyone tell you differently. <laughs> are you, do you guys speak English? No. This series is different from any other rock series because it's about the fans. Do you think this keeps Amy as present in a lot of ways in the neighborhood? So having this little piece of her that's still here. Like her spirit kind yeah. of thing. Yeah, yeah, I guess so. What does this mean to you? Uh, again, she should be remembered for all the good things. I'm here in the Holly Arms in Camden Town in the, the Ladies Lou, and it's an absolute shrine to Amy Winehouse. So when you think about remembering somebody and you want to show them respect, what's the first place you think of coming? Definitely the toilet is number one on that list. It's not about the rock stars, it's about the legacy and the myths around them. This is about history written and created by people that are genuinely obsessed. It's my life. It changed everything. It changed me personal. It changed everything. Nobody else has ever done anything about fans, memorials, shrines, and the way music fandom passes from generation to generation. <laughs> 